You put on your headphones, flip the switch, and suddenly the world gets quiet. The airplane engine stops roaring, the construction noise disappears, and your little brother's screaming becomes a distant whisper. Magic, right? But how did you make it this far in life without knowing what's actually happening inside those fancy ear cups? Today, I'll explain how noise-canceling headphones magically make the world quieter, like you're five years old. And by the end, you'll finally understand why your headphones can make annoying sounds vanish without turning you completely deaf. Turns out, it's not actually magic. Shocker, I know. It's not some tiny sound-eating monster hiding inside your headphones gobbling up all that noise. And it's not a secret portal to a quiet dimension that only opens when you press that special button. What it is, actually, is invisible sound waves fighting other invisible sound waves in a battle for your ears. Imagine you're at the beach and you see waves coming toward the shore. Some waves are big, some waves are small, but they all move up and down as they roll forward. Sound works exactly like those ocean waves, except you can't see sound waves. They're invisible waves that travel through the air, moving up and down just like water waves. When these invisible sound waves reach your ears, your ears translate them into the sounds that you hear. A big, strong sound wave becomes a loud noise, like a truck honking, but a small, gentle sound wave becomes a quiet noise, like a whisper. Now, here's where it gets really cool. What if you could make a wave that was exactly the opposite of another wave? Picture this. You have one ocean wave that goes up really high, and at the exact same time and place, you have another wave that goes down really low. Now, when these two opposite waves crash into each other, something amazing happens. They cancel each other out. The up part of one wave fills in the down part of the other wave, and they both disappear. It's like they never existed at all. The water becomes flat and calm, as if no waves were ever there. The same thing happens with sound waves. If you have one invisible sound wave pushing air up, and you create another invisible sound wave that pushes air down at exactly the same time and place, they crash into each other and cancel out. No more sound wave. The air simply becomes calm and quiet, just like the flat water at the beach. This magical disappearing act is called destructive interference, which sounds pretty scary but really just means that the waves are destroying each other by crashing together. So how do your headphones know what opposite waves to make? Well, they're like tiny sound detectives with super hearing. On the outside of your headphones, there are special listening devices called microphones. These microphones are always paying attention to the sounds around you. They hear the airplane engine, the vacuum cleaner, the traffic, and your neighbor's barking dog. These microphones are little ears that never stop listening to what's happening in the world outside your headphones. But these microphones aren't just listening for fun. They're listening so they can tattle on the noise to the smart computer brain inside your headphones. This computer brain is incredibly fast and incredibly smart. When the microphone says, hey, there's a loud airplane engine sound coming at us, the computer brain immediately gets to work. It analyzes that sound wave, figuring out exactly how big it is and how fast it's moving and what pattern it's making. It's like the computer brain is studying the enemy sound wave to learn all of its secrets. Once the computer brain knows everything about the incoming sound wave, it does something brilliant. It tells the tiny speakers inside your headphones to create the exact opposite sound wave. If the airplane engine is making a sound wave that goes up, 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 down, down, up, the computer brain tells the speakers to make a wave that goes down, 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 up, up, down. These opposite waves are perfectly timed to crash into the original sound waves right at your ears. When the airplane engine sound wave and the opposite sound wave from your headphones meet each other, they have a big crash. The up parts fill in the down parts and the down parts fill in the up parts, and both waves disappear into thin air. Your ears don't hear the airplane engine anymore because the sound waves that would have carried that noise to your ears got cancelled out before they could reach you. It's like having an invisible sound shield protecting your ears. But here's something really important to understand. Your headphones can't cancel out every single sound in the world. They're really, really good at canceling out steady, consistent sounds like airplane engines, air conditioners, fans, or the hum of a car driving down the highway. These sounds are perfect for canceling because they keep making the same pattern over and over again. The computer brain can predict what's coming next and make the perfect opposite wave. However, sudden, sharp sounds are much trickier. If someone claps their hands right next to you, or if a door slams, or if someone shouts your name, your headphones might not be able to cancel those sounds completely. Why? Because these sounds happen so quickly and unpredictably that the computer brain doesn't have enough time to analyze them and create the perfect opposite wave. It's like trying to catch a surprise snowball. By the time you see it coming and reach out to catch it, it's already hit you in the face. This is why noise-canceling headphones work best in places with consistent background noise. 
On airplanes, in libraries with humming air conditioners, or in offices with steady computer fan noise, your headphones are like sound-canceling superheroes. But in a busy playground with kids screaming and laughing normally, or a construction site with unpredictable hammering and drilling, they might not be quite as magical. There's another way, though, that your headphones help make things quieter, and it doesn't involve any fancy computer tricks at all. It's called passive noise isolation, which is just a fancy way of saying that your headphones physically block sound from reaching your ears. Think of it like wearing earmuffs in the wintertime. The thick, soft padding around your ears creates a barrier that sound waves have trouble getting through. Even if your headphones aren't turned on, they still make things quieter just by covering your ears with thick, sound-absorbing material. The best noise-canceling headphones use both tricks at the same time. They used a smart computer brain and opposite sound waves to cancel out steady background noise, and they used the thick padding to physically block other sounds from sneaking into your ears. It's like having both an invisible sound shield and a physical sound wall protecting your ears at the same time. Now, you might wonder if all of this sound wave fighting is safe for your ears, but don't worry, it absolutely is. The opposite sound waves that your headphones create are very quiet and gentle. They're not loud enough to hurt your ears, and they're specifically designed to cancel out other sounds, not to blast your ears with noise. In fact, noise-canceling headphones can actually protect your hearing because they allow you to listen to music or videos at lower volumes. Without the background noise bothering you, you don't need to turn up your music as loud to hear it clearly. You might also notice that when you first put on noise-canceling headphones and turn them on, the world doesn't just get quieter. It feels different. Some people describe it as a strange pressure feeling in their ears, like when you're in an elevator or on an airplane. This happens because your ears are used to all that background noise that's normally around you. When that noise suddenly disappears, your ears notice the change and might feel a little weird for a moment. It's perfectly normal, though, and most people actually get used to the feeling very quickly. The tiny microphones on your headphones, though, are incredibly sensitive. They can hear sounds that are much quieter than what your ears normally notice. They're constantly listening and constantly telling the computer brain about every little sound in the environment. The computer brain is also incredibly fast, making thousands of calculations every second to create the perfect opposite sound waves. All of this happening so quickly that you don't even notice it's working. You just notice that the world got quieter. Different headphones are better at canceling different types of sounds. Some are excellent at getting rid of low, rumbling sounds like airplane engines or air conditioners. Others, though, are better at handling mid-range sounds like conversations or traffic noise. The most expensive headphones, though, usually do a good job with many different types of sounds, but even the best ones can make every single sound disappear completely. Battery power is also super important for noise-canceling headphones. All that smart computer brain work and opposite sound wave creation requires energy. If your headphones run out of battery, the noise-canceling stops working, though you can usually still use them as regular headphones for listening to music. The passive noise isolation from the thick padding will still help block some sound, but you'll lose the magical sound wave canceling powers until you charge them up again. Some headphones have different levels of noise canceling that you can also adjust. Maybe you want maximum quiet time for studying, or maybe you want to hear a little bit of what's going on around you for safety reasons. Being able to adjust how much noise gets canceled gives you control over how much of the outside world you want to let in. The technology inside noise canceling headphones has gotten incredibly advanced over the years. Early versions weren't very good at their jobs and sometimes made weird hissing or buzzing sounds. Modern headphones, though, have become so good at canceling noise that they can make a noisy airplane cabin feel almost as quiet as a library. The computer brains have gotten faster, the microphones have gotten more sensitive, and the speakers have gotten better at creating precise opposite sound waves. So, let's go over the whole process one more time. The tiny microphones on your headphones listen to all the sounds around you. They send this information to the smart computer brain inside of your headphones. The computer brain analyzes these sounds super quickly and figures out exactly what opposite sound waves need to be created. The computer brain tells the tiny speakers in your headphones to make these opposite sound waves. And when the original sound waves and the opposite sound waves crash into each other right at your ears, they cancel out and disappear. Meanwhile, the thick padding around your ears physically blocks other sounds from getting through. The result is a much quieter world where you can focus, relax, or enjoy your music without all the background noise bothering you. It's not magic, remember? It's just invisible sound waves fighting other invisible sound waves combined with the good old-fashioned physical sound blocking. Your headphones are like having a personal quiet zone that follows you wherever you go. So, to recap this whole sound-canceling adventure, noise-canceling headphones work by using tiny microphones to listen to the world, a smart computer brain to create opposite sound waves, and speakers to fight incoming noise with perfectly timed anti-noise. Add in some thick padding for good measurement, and you've got yourself a portable cone of silence. Now go forth and enjoy your newfound peace and quiet, you sound wave fighting genius you.